This week on Chuckload of Comics, it's Sunday, and it's time to talk about comic books, our favorite pulls for the week, movie talk, as well as not the Super Bowl. <laughs> so if you're new to the show, welcome. This is Chuckload of Comics. Welcome to Chuckload of Comics. Uh, it's Sunday. So we, we do this show every single Sunday. It's a weekly comic book show where we talk about comic books, we talk about movies, we talk about television. We open it up to you, the fans, to leave us comments and start the conversation, keep the conversation going. That's right. Anything We're gonna, nerdy. Anything nerdy <laughs> counts on this show. That's uh, right. Every week, every Sunday, we talk about our favorite pull lists, favorite comic books that came out. We talk about the week in review. Uh, whatever happened nerdy, you know, this week, we're going to try to cover it. So before we get into our comic book pulls of the week, I think it's time for a little Sunday morning movie talk. Movie talk. Sunday morning movie talk. Here we go. <laughs> this was a big week in movie news. So much happened in the movies uh, this week. The Black Panther movie yeah. premiered out in Hollywood uh, last weekend. We got our first look at the Captain America shield in the new Infinity War movie. Uh, right. Yeah, Marvel Legends toy teased a what Cap's shield is going to look like in the new Infinity so War movie. Crazy. We got our first look at the Ant-Man and the Wasp trailer. Sheet. That dropped on YouTube. Uh, there's a new movie, Doctor Sleep, for all you Stephen King fans. Got uh, It's being fast-tracked by That's Universal. Insane. And the Han Solo trailer, Where the Hell Are You? <laughs> Maybe we'll see it tonight in the Super Bowl. That's more like non-news. It's just been like crickets yeah, with Han yeah. Solo. I think stuff. we might see like, it tonight then. On? Yeah. So I a lot of lot of movie news uh, this week. Shauna, anything from that list really catches your eye? I mean, it all catches my eye. But the I'm a huge Stephen King fan, so the Doctor Sleep thing intrigues me. Except for the fact that it's been what do you call it? It's like a fast track. Fast track. I don't like that word. And. Also, I'm nervous because it is a sequel to The Shining. It mm -hmm. stars Danny, our favorite kid all grown up. But wrong. it has nothing to do with The Shining. It's not Stanley Kubrick. It's I haven't not, read it. It's, it, it. So I'm, I'm nervous as how it would be received. So what's what's brief synopsis of what... I haven't read the book, and I don't want to spoil it for anybody who has read the book. Well, but Dr. Sleep, what's rough... It's been a while since I read it, but the brief synopsis as I can think of is... Danny is grown up, he still has his abilities, and he ends up like hearing, kind of like uh, Xavier in X-Men, he kind of like starts hearing calls out with other people from with The Shining, and he um, finds this little girl and she's in trouble. And so he is like seeking her out to see why she's in trouble. So that's kind of the whole premise cool. of the story. And then he gets involved with the little girl and what's going on in her life, and it takes like this crazy turn of events happens. It's 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 great. It's How old is Danny's like grown up in this yeah, film? Yeah, he's like in his 30s. He's all grown up. Okay. 30s? He's old. <laughs> he's old, Man. people. Uh, yeah, the movie's by uh, Mike Flanagan. Yeah. He's going to be directing. He's also writing the screenplay. That's he's awesome. Definitely. They originally had a screenplay written for it, but Mike Flanagan's throwing that screenplay out the window, and I think he's going to write an all-new one. Oh, cool. uh, Mike Flanagan, if you don't know who he is, if you ever saw the movie Oculus... Right. Which was an awesome psychological movie. horror movie. Check out Oculus. He wrote and directed that. He also did uh, the new Ouija movie that came out. I did not Didn't see the Ouija see that movie. One. <laughs> but if it's anything like Oculus, yeah, freaking Ocul Oculus was fantastic. Was Check insane. that out. Yeah. So oh. that I'd have to say, and then also the Captain America shield. That's pretty cool. Yeah. How cool is that? <laughs> now it's not a technically movie news, but right. it kind of is. Um, if you didn't see this online. Uh, the Marvel Legends toys, yeah. which, like, you know, uh, Old Man Logan right here is a Marvel Legends toy. Mm -hmm. And they released the Captain America, it's the Infinity War Marvel Legends toys. And in Captain America's box is a new shield. And it looks like it's straight out of Wakanda. It, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a very Wakandan-looking shield, yeah. very tribal, but full of tech. It yep. looks like a tech-heavy tribal shield. And if you remember from the trailer... That we saw from Infinity War when Black Panther says, get this man a shield. That makes so much sense. <laughs> the Wakandans are going to build him a fresh new shield. You know, the Wakandans live on a bed of vibranium. vibranium. Or, yeah. yeah, like pure vibranium. Whereas Captain America's shield before was a vibranium alloy. So this could be like this cool, pure vibranium shield. Yeah. And what I also like about it, it's got a sharp, pointy piece to it. If you've been watching or if you've been reading any of the uh, Captain America stuff, mm -hmm. as of late, all the stuff that came out after the standoff 
book. He's yeah. got this new shield with a pointy tip yeah. that lights up like a lightsaber at the end. And he, and he yeah. can break the tip off and use it as a stabbing weapon while still using his shield. That's if you look at this cool. shield inside the toy, it looks like he's going to do that. He's going to separate them. Yep. He's going to be able to stab and block. And it's just so cool that so it looks... Cool. <laughs> it goes with his whole nomad uh, outfit that he's wearing. This dark, yep. non-red, white, and blue outfit. And it he's got a non... <laughs> yeah, and it's a very non red, white, and blue shield. So mm -hmm. it's gonna be so cool to see him with this cool. It's almost like a battle shield. I think it's awesome. How about you, Chuck? Which uh, things appeal to you the so most? So much of this appealed to me. Um, but I mean, the, the biggest one, I think, I mean, from the first trailer up into the latest TV spot, the excitement for Black Panther oh has gosh, been growing at an exponential rate. Yeah. And just last week, they did the Hollywood premiere. Uh, I think it was last Sunday. Yeah. And the buzz has been massive. Insane. Go on Twitter and just search for <laughs> Black Panther first reactions. I oh, no, pen. I dropped his pin. <laughs> um, the reactions have been insane. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to read a couple of them to you. Uh, uh, Kumal Nanjiani, who you know from the movie The Big Sick, mm -hmm. um, he wrote, Black Panther, so very good. I cheered, I laughed, I pumped my fist. I've never seen a superhero movie like it. Everyone involved with this deserves a medal and a high five. How cool is that? That's crazy high praise. Um, some other ones. Josh Gad, you know from Disney films. He was in Beauty and the Beast. Uh -huh. He's a big Star Wars uh, buff. He wrote, believe the hype, believe the buzz, believe the words, cultural phenomenon. Black Panther is about to blow minds and take names. My God, where to even begin long live the king? <laughs> That's blowing, insane, blowing right? review. I mean, I'm getting goose. I always get goosebumps. Yeah, but I'm getting I mean, goosebumps. go on Twitter, nice. read some of these early reactions. They can't do any reviews until Monday. I think. No, no, no. It might even be next Monday oh before. My gosh. It's ten days before the movie premieres that they're actually allowed to lift the embargo lifts mm -hmm. and they're allowed to actually do full reviews. But they can, you can read a lot of these first reactions and they are massive. If you haven't That's gotten insane. your Black Panther ticket yet, you need to. <laughs> yeah. The theater that we're going to is already sold out. Ugh, um, it's insane. I yeah. think this movie is going to break all kinds of records. I, hands down, you heard it here for sure. Yeah, you, you told me <laughs> that a couple be, weeks ago, I and I was like, no, it's not going to beat the Avengers yeah. $1.6 billion. Bet, bet you a million it dollars it I will. It I think it's definitely going to be Deadpool's. Um, Deadpool currently owns, it, it owns the record for the highest grossed opening weekend for a superhero character first appearance and a solo film which was $130 million, <laughs> and I think it's going to beat that. It's already projected at $150 million. And that's just the projection. And that's I just mean, projection. That's Wonder projection Woman is two was... weeks out. Yeah. We're you still said... two weeks out. That's insane. You were saying Wonder Woman was projected at $90 million and or it, something, and it, it made 100 I think it was like $110 million opening yeah. weekend domestic. So the projection for Black Panther is $150? Could yeah. be $200 million in could. opening weekend. That would we just, have no idea. That'd be so amazing. <laughs> so I'm crazy excited about that. Uh, something else I love this week, we're still talking about movies here, but mm -hmm. the Ant-Man and the Wasp trailer. That was also cool. If you haven't seen the Ant-Man and the Wasp trailer, you probably have, but go on YouTube and watch it. It's <laughs> hilarious. It's like an extended teaser trailer. Mm -hmm. They don't give you much of the plot of the movie, but they give you a ton of just fun action and comedy. Yep. You get to see the Wasp in her full outfit again. You get to see her with the wings. You see some really cool tech that you didn't get to see in the yeah. first um, Ant-Man movie. Like the Wasp has got her stingers mm -hmm. are built into her <laughs> suit, which is basically just a big laser gun. <laughs> She's got wings. Uh, Henry Pym, you see a really great thing where he shrinks down an entire building and rolls it away like a, uh, <laughs> like like a piece of luggage. I was talking to my friend Tony and the first thing he thought is like, what happens when you tilt that on the side? Doesn't everything in the building just <laughs> roll to one side? You've trashed that's all the tech point. that's inside that building. What about the people inside the building? Hopefully there are no <laughs> people like, inside the building. So definitely check out the Ant-Man and the Wasp yeah. trailer. It was really good. And it, it came to my attention that we've now seen a trailer for every single Marvel movie that's coming out in 2018. <laughs> we've got the Black Panther trailer, we've got the Infinity War trailer, and we already got the Ant-Man trailer, and it's only January. And still nothing for Han Solo. <laughs> and still nothing for Han Solo, which comes out in less than three months. It's crazy. Um, they did say that they're going to drop something <coughs> for Han Solo in the Super Bowl, which airs tonight, yep. if you didn't know. <laughs> So that's um, the only reason we'll be watching the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, I'm going to turn it off as soon as... Uh... That's not true. I like football. So yeah, man, big, <laughs> big, big week for movies. Um, so yeah, that's our that's our Sunday morning movie talk. Yeah. If you have any comments, if you think we missed anything, leave it in the comments section. Mm -hmm. Start the conversation. And take that Jodie Foster. Yeah, Jodie Foster. She apparently hates superhero movies. In hates there. them. She thinks they're the death of cinema. What? Sorry, Jodie. <laughs> Anyway, whatever. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> I used to like you, too. I still like Jodie Foster. I think she's great, but she's, she had this really elitist, snobby comment that she made where she basically said that 
the superhero movie is dumbifying uh, movie-going audiences. It's making the public okay. stupid, and they're just... It's like, it's making the act of going to a movie like going to a theme park and not like going to a show. That's what movies are for! Exactly. Movies are to escape reality. They're I mean, supposed to be what, fun! Yeah, like, when they started going to movies and during, like, World War II, I remember my great-grandmother saying that's what they did to escape. Exactly. What was going on in the country, and that's what we exactly. need to do that. That's what yeah. movies are Some for. Some of the most classic movies, King Kong, <coughs> I mean, all the Charlie Chaplin, yeah. Chaplin movies, these were the blockbusters mm-hmm. of their age. King Kong was the Avengers of its time, yeah. and now it's it's seen as just a cinematic achievement, but at the time, it was a way to escape. It was just a big, fun horror movie, so yep. keep your opinions to yourself, Jodie Foster. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So that's it for the movies. Um, like I said, leave us some comments. Please click that subscribe button and join the Chuckload of Comics channel because um, we need you know more like-minded people hitting those like buttons <laughs> and right. leaving us comments and giving us some stuff to talk about. Yep. On to comic books. This was a fun week in it comics. Was. We got a lot of uh, fun. some fun books we want to talk about. Um, some of these books were on your pull lists as well. I'm sure. What do we got? Uh, Old Man Logan <laughs> uh, dropped, which was a really fun book. Mm-hmm. Uh, Three of these books, out of the three of these books, one of them I don't like so much. Uh, yeah. One of them is the best book I've read all week. Yeah. Uh, you can guess which ones is which. Uh, Old Man Logan was fantastic. Uh, mm-hmm. Pick it up. It continues the uh, Madripoor story arc that they've been doing mm-hmm. with the Scarlet Samurai and Old Man Logan off in the Far East yeah. doing his thing. It's, it's been a fun. It's fun. I think it's like issue five of that. Yeah that a story arc or something yeah. so it's easy to catch up if you want to check it out and yeah. it's good it's ed good. brisson mike diodato jr have been doing a lot of fun stuff i won't say they're doing the lord's work it's not the greatest <laughs> book i've ever read but it's it fun. is a lot of fun so start you know pick up the current run of old man logan i think you really dig it mm-hmm. this book is my pick of the week me too <laughs> by a mile <laughs> yeah. they finally wrapped up the phoenix resurrection uh special uh, miniseries that mm-hmm. they've been doing they're bringing back gene gray yeah and they did it so cool. I yeah. mean, from from the, it's only a five issue um, story arc miniseries, I guess I should call it. Um, yeah. If you haven't been following it, you might not be able. They're doing everything in uh, second printings. They're going to do a second printing of the whole thing, or at least when the trade comes mm-hmm. out, pick up the trade. Yeah. Because this is going to. It's bound to be a classic. Yeah. The way they brought her back fantastic. was so cool. So I don't know. It was. Um, Psychological weird shit. It was like yeah. uh, like a Twilight Zone almost, but it's amazing. It fit, Especially it fit very well. In yeah, perfect. this fifth issue will knock your socks off. I thought it was absolutely amazing. This is great. Um, and then it's gonna lead right into X Men Red. So yeah, X Men Red. If you haven't seen the ads for this thing, then you're clearly not reading comics because right. every other page is an ad for the new X Men Red, which comes out in February. We'll see how that is. Um, I'm, I'm going to check it out. Yeah. Let's see if X-Men Red's any good. Absolutely. Um, another book that came uh, today, or shoot, this weekend, was Moon Knight. Moon Knight. It was fine. Yeah. It wasn't my favorite uh, <laughs> issue of the series. I'm really liking the new Moon Knight. Uh-huh. I think it's wonderful. Um, it's a... Re- I don't know. What, do you, what, do you, what can you say about Moon Knight? Um, I really... I got introduced to Moon Knight with Jeff Lemire, the last run, and mm-hmm. I, re- I just really like the character. He's like this... He's basically got split personalities, and he's just yeah. embodies this Moon Knight hero character. But I really like this story arc and where they're going with it. It yeah. gives him a nemesis, which is cool. We didn't really have a nemesis in the last story arc. No, not really. So I, I like it. Yeah, I'm digging it. So check out Moon Knight. It's yeah. it's a really fun run that just started. Up. It's only like the third or fourth yeah. uh, issue of the run. Pick it up. I think you really mm-hmm. dig it. Something you might not dig that I really wanted to dig. <laughs> Gee, I wonder which one's chucked in like this. This week. was the big letdown for me. This uh, this standalone Star Wars movie. It's part of the uh, Last Jedi single runs they've been doing. Uh, a couple weeks ago, they did the Storms of Crate, which I really yeah, did. Yeah, I liked it too. Dig. I thought that was badass. And then they teased this DJ Last uh, Shoot Most Wanted, mm-hmm. which is the Benicio del Toro character in right. the film. But you're like, oh, this would be really cool. I want to hear more background or more about his background and how he got in prison and exactly. all this stuff. And like Chuck said, it's a great story, but it's a great idea because they never really tell you what his how his character wound up in jail. Yeah. So when I heard they were making giving him his own single shot book, I was like, cool. We're gonna find out what landed him behind bars. Mm-hmm. How much fun could you have with that? It's gonna be a lot of fun. We yeah. get to go back to Canto Bite and see the casino planet and all that i mean it could be a lot of fun and it it was a lot of fun but it wasn't (laughs) i don't think they did what they could have done for the story it was such a great idea 
and it was basically just uh, he winds up getting in trouble with some gangsters who are looking for him and yeah. he spends the whole time kind of running away from gangsters and then he winds up going to jail but he, he surrenders to the Canto Bite uh, guard the, the police on that planet because it's better to get arrested by them than to get caught by these gangsters who are probably just going to kill him yeah cool idea but you know I don't just know didn't have weight I mean you even said yourself that like if somebody like Tom King wrote it it could have been amazing right but you give no it to offense. Jeff Lemire Tom King or uh, Jonathan Hickman to write yeah. this one little standoff they could have written and maybe a better story but you know hey <laughs> uh, Ben Acker and Ben Blacker yeah. wonderful writers I just didn't really dig this particular run so I wouldn't I wouldn't really recommend picking that one up I would recommend picking all of these up and yep. if you don't pick up Phoenix Resurrection you're missing out absolutely that whole that whole special run was just fantastic so huge praise for this guy yep. pretty good praise for the rest of them as well <laughs> so that's kind of our pull list uh, for the week as well as our movie talk if you have any comments if you read any of these books you want to give us your opinion or please if you disagree with... leave us kind of, if you think uh, <laughs> the Star Wars book this week was awesome please let us know we'd love to hear about it um, so anyway yeah that's our show for the day dun, 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 dun. again this is Chuck Little Comics we do the show every single Sunday and we try to keep them short and sweet we try to just kind of give you the, the week in review and talk about the comic books that we pulled always taking comments always taking questions please give us ideas for shows things you want us to talk about anything is welcome good or bad <laughs> damn straight she said it all so thanks for watching be here next Sunday enjoy the Super Bowl it's still and let us Sunday. know what you think about the Han Solo trailer which might drop in just a couple hours or not so anyway um, click that subscribe button and thanks for watching we'll see you here next week <laughs>